All right, in this video, I'm going to discuss some of the options for the MASL, the multi-angle side lighting camera. And um, starting with, it's possible to use um, adjustable side lighting arms. As I have shown before, it's possible to add on these two arms, which uh, allow you to, to put the light at a m more extreme angle, 90 degrees even, or more than 90 degrees if you want. And um, that's not standard or normal, but it is an option available. So it's M-A-A-S, so multi-angle adjustable side lighting is the name for when you have this extra fourth one on each side of fourth magnet cup on a, uh, an adjustable arm. Now to reach that it would require a longer light guide and there's two ways of doing that. If you want to stay with the two channel um, format then you you get a longer light guide. Instead of 11 inch you get a 13 inch light guide. Um, that's the size right here. <coughs> So this, when this is in there, it'll it'll reach just fine. In fact, I, I will show how that works. It's pretty simple. The uh, slightly longer light guide is uh, necessary to reach, but it will reach, and you can go all the way to 90 degrees like that. <clears throat> Whereas this shorter one won't. Now. Um, the only downside is if you're not often using this extreme side lighting like that, then um, when you're not using this, generally it's good to position it back here out of the way, and that's what I usually do. Uh, it looks kind of like that when it's out of the way. Um, but then the thing is that, you know, if you're just using these inner three, then it's extra long not as sleek. It, it just it, it, it's, it looks like it's longer than it needs to be because it is. So, um, but if you're often using the extreme, who cares, you know, and uh, it, at least it's not too short, which is <laughs> better too long than too short. So that that is, and, and at the time of getting an illuminator, if you do want this ESL option, which is the ASL adjustable side lighting, then um, it's possible to get that for just $200 extra. And it includes the two arms, and it includes a longer one instead of the, the 11 inch, you get this longer one. So you can compare them there. And uh, as I say, it's kind of for experimental or research. Or, well, there's other reasons to use extreme side lighting too, to show the texture better. But now the, uh, the, the other way to make use of this extreme side lighting is to get a, extra two channels, and so I'll show you how that works. Um, basically, there's a, a, a second fixture like this, which snaps on with magnets like that. It snaps into place, and then now the flash will have two positions. To go to and um, let's see here. <clears throat> I have two of these here. So in other words, what I just did on here to show is done on here. So then I have another one just to you know show it in more three D space. So the whole idea is that. The flash can can go to these two channels or those two channels, and you can see how that works now with this. All right. So what I've done is I've just taken this magnetic mount add-on, snap it into place there, and now when I move the flash up to the forty-five degree position it'll be lined up perfectly with the shutter. And the other thing I have done is made, so with, for this shutter, the upper shutter has magnets 
so that you can easily remove the light guides. In other words, it has magnets on both ends, so there's this end, and then that can go down to light guides such as here, for example. <coughs> and then there's, uh, that is, the upper has a magnet, and then this can go here, for example. And uh, just to show you what we're looking at here, this is the top view. So there's the shorter light guides for here and the longer ones for here. And then you can easily flip the flash to either pair. Right. So that, that's how the 4-channel works, and that's how you can easily add the 4-channel option. It's $500 to add the two channels on the add-on. But there's one other component that is needed that's also included in that option, and that is uh, this alignment target here. Um, and this is necessary anytime you have adjustable angles in order to know how to point and line up the uh, light guide. So the way it works is it <coughs> also attaches with the magnet down here, so you can fit it on there. And then, um, as you can see, you probably can see, uh, there's a, a protractor there. And it's designed so that this is right where the iris would be and that way you can adjust these angles from above to make sure, for example, you want it 90 degrees, you can get it there, or on this side, to get it to 90 degrees, you just use, you just sight over this. And then you uh, set that angle while this is in place, and just uh, so you can see it better, I'll tilt this. You can see the uh, <coughs> two side lights here, and the other one, and these uh, adjustable side lighting angle arms are ready for 90 degree extreme side lighting. You get really dramatic iris pictures that way. So this is the better way. Um, the the four the, the whole four channel option is five hundred dollars and it includes everything, including the alignment target, two extra light guides, the magnetic mount shutter, which is easy to remove. And I designed it so that you you don't always have to have all these extra uh, light guides if you don't really need it. So it, it comes off very easily and even this comes apart too. And um, <clears throat> that's the idea. So we can go back to the standard routine clinical photographs, you know, don't need the more creative lighting. But uh, there's people that are doing both clinical and artistic or biometric and artistic even. Um, but that's how you do that and um, again with this it just comes off with magnets but you do need to have the uh, alignment target like that in order to be sure about your angles. <clears throat> now the next option is the selfie monitor. And I think I'll do a separate video for the selfie monitor. That pretty much covers the four channel. And just to um, finalize that, I will um, put this back together. <coughs> All right, so and I will do it in better view of the camera here. So. How this piece goes right on here. Just snaps right into place like that. And then this will go up there. And then again, 
the uh, light guides. The upper one goes right in there, and the other one right in there. It just snaps into place, so easy. But then you can also use these in different positions too. So one idea is where you could put, for example, I, I always like to take uh, 15 degree and 45 degree lateral for every area, and I don't usually take other angles. But with four channels, I can set two of the light guides at 15 and 45 right, and two of them 15 and 45 left, and then I don't have to move any of them. All I have to do is change the shutter. So I would set one of these for the right eye, which is the first eye I photograph, and then I'd set these two for the left eye, the second eye I photograph. And just to show how that works, for my right eye, then... <coughs> All right, now this is, again, I mean, I could do an extreme side lighting as well, but for this example, I'm just saying even if you're just doing two pictures using 45, there, get that out of the way, and I put the other one here. Now I'm going to show what I have, how I have uh, arranged these. All right, so I'm looking at the um, the monitor over here. So what I have done here is put the lower two channels going over to 15 and uh, 45 over here for that eye. Let me get that out of the way. Clamp that down. <clears throat> so when I'm taking the right eye, I, I just use 15 degrees and 45 lateral, so I have this down here, and I can run that shutter here, which you can see it here too. That's why well, this is in this position, then I, I can just choose uh, which channel to use, and then I can do my center lighting of the right eye, and then the, uh, oops, <laughs> let me do over. I have here the uh, light for the right eye, lateral 15, lateral 45. Then I'm done with the right eye, and I go over to the other eye, and then I move this to those two, which are already pre-positioned for lateral uh, on the left eye, you know, for my left eye was <clears throat> eight left, eight left. You're going to want the light coming from 15 degrees here. That's left lateral and 45. And so you can easily switch that way. So there's another use. Or if you do uh, IPB imaging, uh, like Lorito um, likes to use the light at uh, 20 and 80, you can do that with this camera. You can set them up ahead of time. So um, that is how to use the four channels. And uh, all right. And my next uh, options video will be about the selfie monitor.